Well, Marty is right on track this morning. Yes, joining us from the b and Railroad Museum, where he's getting a look at how they restore old engines and rail cars. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Cena. Hello, Meg. And again, good morning, everyone. Hopefully, you're having a great day so far. Kerry Pace, Assistant Superintendent, b and Railroad Museum. Jonathan Goldman, Curator. We are now in a paint room. We're in the largest paint booth in the Mid-Atlantic here in the restoration shop. Paint booth. Yep, it's a giant paint booth. So what we're looking at is a car that's going to be pulled by that steam engine that's being restored for the 200th anniversary of railroading, the President Washington. Tell them about this. Um, this car was built in 1949. It was an ultra-luxury all-Pullman tavern bar car that would be at the end of the train so all the passengers riding could sort of hang out in the back and have a 180 degree panoramic view of the scene behind it's it. It's all burled wood. You, it's up lighting in that dome. K2's getting a look inside. Look at the mural down at the other yeah, end. Yeah, that's a hand painted photo mural, mural of the uh, cherry blossoms in Washington. This used to run the DC to Chicago route. That's wild. Yeah. That's really wild. Now, federal grants are involved in these restorations because they're not cheap. And this museum, if you just moved to the area, we have one of the finest railroad museums in America. Another great one, if you ever happen to be out near Sacramento, California, it is another great one. But we stand on the podium with all of them. Yeah, and we're the only one that's the birthplace of American railroading since America's first commercial railroad was founded right here where we're standing. You know what I find amazing? Uh, and, and Gary, you know, you're really part of a lot of the restoration of the steam locomotives and the, the diesel engines, is this is down to the bare metal. This will eventually be painted that regal B&O Railroad blue. That's correct, yep. And you told me that because of lead paint considerations, which will kind of change the color, you have to adjust. Uh, that's true, but we have a full catalog of all the original mixes of the B&O colors, so uh, we know how to mix it up. Yeah. You've, got a, you've got a great volunteer job here. Oh, yeah, I love it. I would trade it for the world. Tell them what you did before you became a volunteer here. Oh, I was a firefighter for about 38 years. Respect. Thanks so much for your, for your service and help to the city oh. and county. Really appreciate it. Listen, for more information, we got the website. Uh, down on the bottom of the screen, and you were telling me that occasionally tours are given of this restoration facility, which is just, uh, it's, it's amazing. We could stay in here for three hours, and every time we came on the air, you'd go, for real? Really? Thanks so much yes, for being with us. No problem. Thank you. Jonathan? Gary. Again. All right, everybody. We're going to throw it back to TV Hill. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> we definitely did. Thank you, Marty.